Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. Glory, Ashera of this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Ashera of this. Child of God, they are talking. And I hear the Lord say, a neighborhood, like they turn a whole neighborhood against you. Like they are turning a, good, a whole neighborhood against you. You are asking yourself, why is everyone talking about me, you know? Why is everyone? I want you to, please, don't bury your head in shame. Don't bow down your head in shame. When you walk in that neighborhood, in the spirit of the Lord, walk in the confidence of God. Walk in the confidence of God. I don't know why I'm hearing this word like this. Because this is an agenda for you to make, for you to go into a very dangerous isolation that will cause loneliness and secret tears. God does not want that for you. We know that is what the enemy wants, but God does not want that for you. So what the enemy wants, we don't take it. So we take the one that God wants. I told us in this place some time ago, when life becomes 50, 50 child of God, just take the 50 parts, 50% that is good. And leave that 50% that is evil for those that own evil. And build that good 50% and build it up to the 99 or to 100 by the help of the Lord. Don't bury your head in shame when you know that your heart is pure. When you know you are innocent. When you know you have no evil against anyone. Don't bury your head in shame. Hallelujah. Walk in the confidence of the Lord. Walk in the confidence of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. You need to understand that the apostles, the disciples, the preachers that came before you, they experienced similar situation. This is why I encourage people in this ministry to always have a thick skin because it is not always an easy road. It is not always an easy road. Even in the church, you will be talked about. In the house of God, you will be talked about. The way they will talk about you will make you to withdraw yourself from everything for you not to be seen at all. That is what they want for us to go into hiding. For us to just go away. For us to just no more us. But we are here. There must be us. Somebody said there must be me. As long as God lives, there must be me. Hallelujah. They cannot remove you. Yes, there must be me. I have to tell myself that word I swear. Right now, there must be evangelist Sarah. As long as God is still on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Sometimes you need to understand that the agenda of her, it is for us to go away. So when you see a whole community against you, nagging and murmuring and saying all sorts of things against you, it is to trouble your peace. It is to trouble your confidence. It is to trouble your dream. It is to trouble your calling because they know who you are. Because they know who you are. Let them talk all they want. Don't bury your head in shame. Let them laugh all they want. Don't bury your head in shame. Let them mock all they want. Don't bury your head in shame. Walk with them in the confidence of the Lord. Walk with the mindset that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Walk with the mindset that says the earth. And just tell yourself, the land belongs to my God. It belongs to my Father. You cannot make me restless in the land that God has created. You cannot make me restless in the place where God has kept me. You cannot make me feel embarrassed in the place where God has kept me. So because they have an agenda. Hallelujah. They may be talking now, but if you don't bury your head in shame, I am telling you, just a little why. Just a little why. Even those that talk that wanted you to bury your head in shame, they will come for you for help. They will come for you for help. It happens to Joseph, even his, brother, his brethren, whenever he will share his dream, whenever he will talk about his dream, the Bible record that they will twat him, and me, I will buy down before you, they gang up against him. But the same brother, they came back, they came back to ask for him, ask from him, help. 
So God has a way of turning the table. God has a way of doing his own thing. The only thing you don't have to do, don't bow your head in shame. Don't walk in shame. Walk in glory. Walk in the manifestation of God. Now driving your car, know that God, the angel, the, the angel of the Lord is with you in that car. You are in your home, know that the angel of the Lord is with you. In the supermarkets, know that the angel of the Lord. In the play, playing ground, in the street, in the place where you walk, walk in the spirit of the Lord. Knowing that there are always manipulation. But when you don't bow down to the child of God, I am telling you, it is just a little while. Every one of them will come asking you for help because you are different. They allow the enemy to use them. There are people who position their hearts for the enemy to use, just like Delilah. There are people who position their heart <clears throat> for the enemy to use. But you are one of one that the enemy cannot use. That is why you are being fought hard. Don't bow down your head in shame. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.